Whosoever holds this symbol, if they be worthy, shall possess the power of Ptah. AfricanCreationEnergy.com presents Jed, Ankh, and Was, the master key to African science, technology, engineering, and math. Question. What is the Jed Pillar? Answer. The Jed Pillar is a symbol from ancient African culture which represented concepts related to stability. Question. What is the Ankh? The Ankh is a symbol from ancient African culture which represented concepts related to life. Question. What is the Wa Scepter? Answer. The Wa Scepter is a symbol from ancient African culture which represented concepts related to power. Question. Are there any ancient primary sources which depict the Jed Pillar, the Ankh, and the Wa Scepter grouped together? Answer. Yes. The Jed Pillar, the Ankh, and the Wa Scepter are routinely depicted grouped together in the Medunetto hieroglyphics found throughout ancient Kemet to represent concepts related to stability, life, and power. The Jed Pillar, the Ankh, and the Wa Scepter are also depicted grouped together in the staff held by the ancient African deity named Kansu, the Traveler, and the Jed Pillar, the Ankh, and the Wa Scepter are also depicted grouped together in the staff held by the ancient African deity of technology, engineering, artisans, craftsmen, and blacksmiths named Ptah. Question. Besides being held by the ancient African deity of technology and engineering named Ptah, are there any other relationships between the Jed Pillar, the Ankh, and the Wa Scepter to science, engineering, and technology? Answer. Yes. The book entitled The Ankh, The African Origin of Electromagnetism by Nur Ankh Amun points out the relationship between the concept of life which is made possible by way of the flow of electricity and magnetism in the human body to the potential electromagnetic characteristics of metallic onks. The book, The Onk, The African Origin of Electromagnetism, also points out the similarities between the appearance of the Jed Pillar to an electronic voltage source known as the Pile Battery. The book, Ta Technology, Engineering Applications of African Sciences, further expounds on the concepts presented in the book, The Onk, African Origin of Electromagnetism, by showing through experimentation and demonstration that an electromagnetic onk can in fact be constructed by utilizing the Jed Pillar, a symbol representing stability, as a pile battery or stable DC voltage source, the onk as a solenoid coil, and the Y scepter as the core at the center of the onk coil. Moreover, the book, Ta Technology, Engineering Applications of African Sciences, shows that not only is the geometry and appearance of the ancient African symbols of the Jed Pillar, the Ankh, and the Wa Scepter consistent with what they look like in modern electric circuits, but also the ancient meaning of these symbols, Jed representing stability, Ankh representing life, and Wash representing power, are consistent with what they would mean in an electric circuit, the Jed Pillar battery being a source of stable DC voltage, the flow of electrical current through the loop of the Ankh creating an electromagnet, and the association between life being made possible by the flow of electricity and magnetism in the human body, and the Wash scepter representing power, which is consistent with electric power. Even more interesting, the book Thai Technology Engineering Applications of African Sciences shows that in an electric circuit, the grouping of the symbols of the Jed Pillar, the Ankh, and the Wa Scepter, representing voltage, current, and power respectively, forms a mathematic equation essential and fundamental to modern circuit theory known as Ohm's Law. Thus, in the fields of science, technology, and engineering, the Jed, Ankh, and Wa can be understood as mathematic objects, symbols, or variables in an equation. Question. What is a mathematical object and what is a variable? Answer. A mathematic object is a type of abstraction or symbol which can represent a thing, idea, or concept. In mathematics, a variable is a symbol designating a value that may change within the scope of a given problem or set of operations. Question. Okay. So you are suggesting that the Jed, Ankh, and Was are a master key to African science, technology, and engineering. But so far, you have only discussed how the Jed, Ankh, and Was can be understood as mathematic variables in equations related to electronics. Are there any other fields of science, technology, or engineering which the Jed, Ankh, and Was can serve as symbols in mathematic equations? Answer, yes. The book, Nine Ether Ray Engineering by African Creation Energy expounds on the topics discussed in the book, Todd Technology, Engineering Applications of African Sciences, by showing how the topics of thermodynamics, 
hydrodynamics, and fluid mechanics can be extended from the discussion about the movement of electrons using African symbology. When the electromagnet described in the book Ta Technology is constructed by connecting the Jed, Ankh, and Was, it heats up as the electrons move through the solenoid coil of the Ankh. Thus, there is a direct relationship between the movement of electrons or electricity to the flow of heat or thermodynamics. This relationship is further strengthened by the fact that the ancient African deity of technology and engineering named Ptah, who was depicted holding the Jed, Ankh, and Wa symbols in his staff, is said to have been married to a goddess named Sekhmet, who is related to the power of heat or thermodynamics. Furthermore, in his article entitled Reinterpretations of the Ankh Symbol Part 2 by Asar Imhotep, he discusses the relationship of biomimicry between the appearance and meaning of the Jed, Ankh, and Wa symbols to the spinal column, thorax bones, and brain stem respectively, and how this relates to the cardiovascular processes which sustain life in the human body. Considering that the cardiovascular process in the human body is a form of hydraulics and fluid mechanics, with the flow or movement of liquid in the form of blood and the flow or movement of air in the form of breath or respiration, then we can see how the symbols of the Jed, Ankh, and Was can serve as symbols in mathematic equations related to electricity, thermodynamics, hydraulics, or fluid mechanics, and mechanical engineering. Question. The analogies and synchronicities which you have presented here are nice, but is it really necessary to make these comparisons? Is there any added benefit or evidence to suggest that these analogies actually help students better learn and remember the scientific and engineering principles? Answer: Yes, electrical, thermal, hydraulic, and mechanical interdisciplinary analogies have been developed over time and have been routinely included as part of curriculums taught in science and engineering programs at universities across the world. The relationship between power, current, and voltage known as Ohm's Law in the electrical discipline to the relationship between power, temperature, and heat flow known as Fourier's Law in thermodynamics to the relationship between power, pressure, and fluid flow known as Pazoi's Law in hydraulics and fluid mechanics to the relationship between power, force, and velocity known as dash pot in the mechanical discipline regularly serve as a form of transformative learning pedagogy for science and engineering professors. For example, the concept of electrons flowing from a battery through a wire may not be as easily understood by a student as the concept of water flowing from a pump through a pipe. Therefore, the hydraulic analogy to the electrical discipline provides a transformative learning methodology by which the concepts may be better comprehended. However, like all analogies, there are benefits and limitations. Transformative learning is the pedagogical modality utilized most frequently by master teachers. Transformative learning is the expansion of consciousness through the transformation of a basic worldview and specific capacities of the self. Transformative learning is facilitated through consciously directed processes such as appreciatively assessing and receiving the symbolic contents of the unconscious and critically analyzing the underlying premises. Therefore, based on the aforementioned premises, the symbols of the Jed, Ankh, and Was can be utilized by science and engineering teachers, instructors, and professors to students of Egyptian, Kemetic, or African-centered studies as part of a transformative learning pedagogy and as part of a constructivist or discovery model of education by gaining new information about electrical, thermal, hydraulic, and mechanical disciplines from existing knowledge which has been generated by learning about the Jed pillar, the Ankh, and the Was scepter. Question. Are you trying to suggest that the ancient Egyptians actually had all of this advanced scientific and engineering knowledge about electrical, thermal, hydraulic, and mechanical mathematic equations? Answer. The purpose of this presentation is to neither confirm nor deny what knowledge may have been known to people who lived over 5,000 years ago. The purpose of this presentation is to demonstrate how the ancient African symbols of the Jed, Ankh, and Was can be used as a master key to comprehending electrical, thermal, hydraulic, and mechanical science and engineering disciplines which are practical, applicable, and relevant to survival, well-being, and nation-building in your life right now. The process of taking African cultural symbols and concepts from the past and making them relevant and practical in the here and now is part of the Sankofa approach to studying history. Sankofa is an Adinkra symbol from Ghana, West Africa, which is depicted as a bird with its head turned backwards, meaning go back and get it. 
The Sankofa symbol represents a practical approach to studying history by taking from the past what is good and bringing it into the present in order to make positive progress through the practical application and utilization of knowledge. Therefore, in the spirit of Sankofa, the Jed, Ankh, and Was can be used as a master key to comprehending electrical, thermal, hydraulic, and mechanical phenomenon. However, what are the chances that Ptah, the ancient African deity associated with engineering and technology, would be holding a set of symbols which has such a synchronous association to symbols and concepts across electrical, thermal, hydraulic, and mechanical engineering and technology disciplines? Moreover, the movement from the electron or electricity to heat flow or thermodynamics to element flow or hydraulics to the movement of matter or mechanics is consistent with the modern scientific description of the way sound is generated up from the movement of electrons to the movement of matter and is also consistent with the cosmology found in the Memphite theology of Ptah rising from the primordial abyss, electrical and thermal, and then imagining in his heart hydraulic and speaking with his tongue mechanical to produce sound. Indeed, the Jed, Ankh, and Was are the master key mathematic symbols to African science, technology, and engineering. A master key is one key which can open up several different locks, and a master symbol is one symbol which can be used to apply to several different concepts. This is that key which will open the domain of multiple disciplines. You now hold the key that is between one and nine, for the key does not open the door. You do. Are you strong enough to pick up the staff of the top?